all right so what is going on today youtube we have got some new vendreds that came out and um i've been trying not to watch any videos about people discussing them um the only video i watched was dp Yu Gi Oh, and you know i mean i don't think anybody really takes him serious so i mean it's just very funny video that's the only person i watched and there's the reason why i watched it it's just to get a good laugh and to see what he was going to say about the card but not he, he, I just wanted to just say, I don't know how to explain that. Is this, you don't take him serious, but you kind of want to hear what he says. This one here is opinion. I, I, I don't know. Not really. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I, I just watched it just because it was funny. Anyways, so yeah, I tried to stay off and not, you know, listen to anybody's opinions because I didn't want to was any interfere with mine. So yeah, I did pretty decent, I guess. Um, all right. So we're going to start off with the first card, uh, which is Vendred Anima. And her effect i'm guessing yeah it looks like a her it better not be a he um you banish this card from your graveyard target one of your banished vendred monsters special summon it and then you cannot special summon monsters except for zombie monsters for the rest of the turn and then if you use it for a ritual summon of a vendred um banish any monster destroyed by battle with this card um i give it pretty much a solid eight i really do like the idea of the card the sad thing about this card is this the be the best effect, which is Revenance, never really gets banished unless, you know, you banish it from your graveyard or something like that, or you gold sark it. So that's the only thing that really sucks about that. The second effect is I, I actually really do like it. Um, the fact that, you know, it banishes any card that is destroyed by battle, that's cool. Um, like I said, if, if it, it could it would have been really, really broken if it said uh, battle, banish any monster that battles with this card, but I can understand. Um, but yeah, man, that's the only thing. Um, and then also like the restriction on zombie summons, which is like another unit zombie thing, which I feel like is going to end up biting us in the butt um, because, you know, sometimes you just have to go into a non zombie. But with this effect, you're not going to be able to. But uh, when you're playing Vendreds, you are already at a, dis you know, you're already at a disadvantage. So might as well attack on as much as you can but yeah like i said I man i really do like this card it has a it has a good effect it could have been better um the only way it could have been better if revenants can banish itself when it leaves the field besides you know you know, you know like hound order something like that or strides if revenants just you know banished or if there's a way to continuously banish a revenants um except for like a lord darkness and gold sark i really would do definitely really really be excited about this card I'm mildly excited. I'm definitely going to be playing it. So, I mean, possibly play one or two um, because, you know, I'm probably play one. Since it's a level one, you really can't use it with too much stuff. But yeah, man, it, 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 it is a good card. On to the ritual, the level eight, which I told you guys we're probably going to get. And we probably should have got before the Chimera. Chimera should have been the last one since it was so damn terrible. But oh, I'm not going to talk about Chimera because I feel like that probably isn't even... I don't think anything except for Striders should be in your deck if you're playing Vendreds. Um, Alright, so this level 8, 3000, 0 defense. You can ritual summon this card with any Vendred ritual spell. It becomes a Slayer while it's on the field. Oh, that's pretty decent. Uh, while this card is ritual, while this ritual summon card is on your field, your opponent cannot target cards you control with card effects. Except this card. If this ritual summon card is destroyed by battle... Or opponent's card effect while it's in your own mon or if while it's in the owner's monster zone you can add a vendor card from your deck to your hand um that's uh, i like it i do like it now with this you definitely play core so you would definitely play this and a core because if you equip this with core your opponent can't target anything so that's that's really really good um th th this effect to not be targeted is really good um and it also becomes slayer on the field that's pretty good too so that means you can protect it with your origin um and then when it dies you search a vendred card which oh, finally but i felt like this card should have been like your boss monster so when it died if you can first of all kill this, this is a 3000 beater um and if you kill it this should have this is just a special summon to vendred and added a card to your hand that's what i feel like it should have did oh well it didn't um like i said man eight out of ten very solid i mean that's not really a solid rating but <laughs> more solid rating would have been like a six or a seven but i really do like the first two cards um i really felt like we should have definitely got this earlier um because what they gave us was just pure trash this i really wanted it to be a secret even though i know you guys probably be like no nah, i don't want this to be a secret 
I'm pr pretty sure it's probably not a secret. I haven't really looked at the Konami page yet. Um, but I really do hope this is a secret because this will look absolutely brilliant um, as a secret. And I don't want this to be a super, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a super um, or a rare or some bullshit like that. I just want this to be an ultra rare. Like It's easy to pull ultra rares. Let's make it an ultra rare Konami. Um, oh, God, if this is a common, I'm going to just be pissed. Um, but either one of those being secret would be nice. Um, on to the ritual spell that we got. But Sally is just, just doesn't make sense. Anyways. <laughs> This card can be used for ritual summon for any Vindra ritual monster from your hand or graveyard. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field and or send one Vindra monster from your deck to the graveyard who total, le total levels equal the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. Um, the ritual summon is destroyed during the end phase of the next turn. You can only activate one um, Revendred evolution per turn. Um, don't not understand what the last part was all about. Why is the monster dying after one turn? If, if, if anybody from Konami is watching this video, please explain it to me. I, I still don't understand that. I've never seen that on a ritual. I've never even seen that like on a fusion summon. Like only fusion summon that dies at the end of the turn is instant fusion. And that's you have to pay a thousand life points and it can't attack. So I, it just why? Just why do you even make this? And then they made it have to be you have to have the exact levels. Why? Like why does it do? Why does it have to have all that? There's no reason for all that. Like, there's literally no reason to put those two. Like, why? Like, it's like Konami's. Uh, I, I don't know. You know what I actually think? I think they were playtesting this card and said, maybe this shit is too good. Maybe sending any Vendred to your graveyard to ritual summon is too good to exceed the levels. And then they said, oh, well, it's too good to stay on the field. When has Vendred ever been too good to stay on the field? Now, sl now when you get when you get it equipped with Hound or Revenants, sure it's pretty good but why that you can't even get the effects if you use this effect so what's the point and then you can't even banish from your graveyard which is i thought the whole point of this damn thing was to you know god it's just konami just really just it did they show so much promise these two so much promise easily going in the main deck completely going in the main deck don't know how many copies of this i'm gonna play maybe one or two because you can't really search with anything besides slayer um or a goblin zombie or Vendred Knights. So, I gotta say, either one or two. This is either a, most likely a one, maybe a two, depending on how good it actually is. And then you just give us this. Just a random, dumb ass support that makes no sense. It goes. Oh, God. All right. Well, I mean, we got another ritual spell, which is good. But once again, it literally butt fucks the whole deck. Because why do they have to be the exact number? And then why does it die during the next turn? God, this this so close and so far. All right, on to the continuous spell, which is all right. Uh, once per turn, you contribute one or more Vendred monsters from your hand and or field. Target one face up monster you control, increases level until the end of the turn. And when you're attacking Vendred ritual monster, destroys an opponent's monster by battle. You can have your monster gain a thousand attack. Why in God's name? I'm not even gonna continue to talk about this card. If your opponent controls more cards than you. Choose one ritual summon inventory monster you control, destroy all cards on the field, except the chosen monster. It cannot attack directly while it remains faced up on the field. And you can only activate one day break per turn. Easily a three of in the deck. Completely three of. This was the whole problem with the damn deck. Um, I hope this shit is not a secret because I want this to be like a super common or something. No, I don't want to be. I ah, fucking make it a common. Um, this is an easy three of. This an immediately three of. This is the whole fucking problem with the deck. The fact that we literally waste all of our resources to summon one monster and he gets killed by any type of board. This is the shit right here. This clearly can can stop a whole a whole like going against pendulums. Once you just let them go off, I mean, the experienced pendulum player is going to know about this card. But even if that like once they set up their scales, they're automatically going to have more cards than you because as soon as they pendulum summon, bam, flip this, destroy all of the cards on the field. And then the, the the best card to have with this is Slayer because you can just link it off or some shit like that. Then go off. But once again, this once again, fine. This is a ten out of ten card. I don't care what nobody says. This shit right here is an automatic three of in the deck. Um, these three right here, man. Uh, eight, 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 two eights, and a fucking ten, man. And then you just get the two ones. Like for no reason do we just. This, that's the problem with Konami, man. Like let's go look at all the Vendra. Let's just let's just take a look. Look. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 
a 20 out of a 20 uh, about a six um oh jesus christ i a five because it's good and bad once again a 10 the worst card the worst this this dumb one um 10 40 100 000, uh, just uh, t another 10 and then you just you just get the this and then this is a strong six because it does do something but not enough once again this it's just weird it just make no sense this card is actually pretty decent but you know it's hard to do all this stuff um and then this right here is it, it sounds good but then you, you introduce non-level cards it makes it and then you can't summon anything else it's just it's just all weird like why like they just have so much good that we have so much support that we could have made an actual decent deck and then they turn around and release stuff like this why do a divine monster need to gain a thousand attack can anybody explain that to me and why do i need to tribute who does this when the hell <sighs> this is just so dumb like i have to tribute a vendred right and then increase <laughs> and you only increase by the number of monsters you you tribute it so that means i can tribute three monsters and increase a card by three levels so i'm going to neg three to increase by three levels what sense does that make who in konami just sat there and thought that this was actually a good card that makes no sense this should have been a costless activation once per turn you can target event increase the level by one to three simple as that simple as that and that would have made the card playable and then like what what like why like what what do we need a thousand extra attack for come can somebody explain that to me i just don't understand there's no reason for that like <sighs> all right well anyways watch out for tomorrow because we're definitely going to be playing this deck even though i'm very upset this konami could have easily gave us what we needed but they decided to give us what we don't need in these last two like you you gave us a ritual spell and then you gave us an effect that makes no sense and then i don't even know how to explain what this is because that makes no type of sense i just don't understand but yeah man see you guys tomorrow be on the lookout for that video I'm gonna be testing some vendreds man um i, I just I, I don't know i felt like they we're just gonna have to wait to it's gonna have to be another spiral thing where we just have to wait till the ocg fixes it because i i, I guess tcg is too scared um and then also another thing why well, it, it has nothing to do with this video but yeah, there. I, I, I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure now. Needle Fiber is going to be a prize card, so that sucks. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, be on the lookout for tomorrow because we're definitely going to be testing this. Oh my god, and we, and this sucks because we have to kind of play this card. So it's like, oh god, it's, it's pissing me off. But I kind of thought of something stupid because of the way it's worded i don't know if it's like machina fortress where you can send and then ritual summon that one you sent but then again it says um you must tribute monsters and then ritual summon that card so i'm pretty sure you can't like send the eight and special summon the eight i'm pretty sure you can because if you can that might be really then this card goes from a zero to a fucking 20 but that's just dumb of me because i'm pretty sure that's not how it works so yeah anyways well i'm just going to be looking for clarification on that but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy it leave your comments down below what do you think about it um uh I did, overall man out of the five cards it's 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 right behind the first set the first wave uh, it's the second best support we got and that should tell you how good of a support we got when two of the cards are utterly pretty much unplayable and you just that's oh god anyways thank you guys for watching be on the lookout for tomorrow if you guys would like to help the channel out links are in the description down below and yeah that is it let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you